The 2023 MLB draft class will be filled to the brim with talent, both at the high school level and the college level. But as of right now, the top name in this class is outfielder for the number one ranked Louisiana State University, Dylan Cruz. We'll get into his background, but so far this year, through 21 games, 96 plate appearances, 68 at bats, he has a 515 batting average with a 656 on base percentage, a 1.583 OPS, which includes six home runs and 10 doubles. And that 656 on base percentage is partially due to that 26% walk rate. And just for reference, in 2022, there was only one MLB hitter with a walk rate above 15.9%. That was the Soto shuffling one Soto with a walk rate of 20.3%. And sure, that's Major League Baseball, Cruz is in the NCAA right now, but things are trending in the right direction for him. And hey, I mean, you look at Juan Soto and Dylan Cruz's loading stance, especially their lower half, and they have a little more in common than just walk rate. Dylan was born and raised in Central Florida where he attended Lake Mary High School. And after four years of varsity baseball, he was considered a top major league baseball draft prospect heading into the 2020 draft. Although he decided to pull his name out of the hat and attend college at Louisiana State University. Yeah, I mean, it was always a dream of mine to come here to LSU. If I decide, if I wanted to, if I thought about coming, going to the draft, I always thought about, you know, this opportunity that I'd be given up to come here. There's no better place to develop than here at LSU. And, um, you know, I just felt like my senior year, I wasn't the most developed I could be. So coming here, I want to be the best player I can be when I enter the draft in 2023. And at that time, he was six foot 195, ranked the number two overall player in Florida and the fifth best outfielder in the country. He also played for USA Baseball twice, first on their 14U team, and then once on their 18U team, which won a gold medal. Dylan joined LSU's starting lineup as a 19-year-old and did not skip a beat. And this just blows my mind, but in one of his first weeks of college baseball, he won freshman of the week batting 583 with two home runs and four walks. He finished with a 362 batting average, a 453 on base percentage, a 1.116 OPS, including 18 home runs and 42 RBIs in his 63 games played. He also stole 12 bags. This would earn him the Rawlings 2021 National Freshman of the Year. And those 18 home runs he hit were the most ever by an LSU freshman. And here's Cruz talking about what led to his success as a freshman at LSU. Growing up in high school, from freshman year to junior year, I always played up. I was always a 2020 grad playing in the 2019 class all the time. So it kind of helped me out you know, being a freshman here, being known as the guy who kind of took his name out of the draft and you know, is on campus and he wasn't really supposed to be here. So it was a lot of expectations around my name and, you know, being able to play up throughout high school, it really helped me out coming here and, you know, playing with a bunch of older guys. And it's just been awesome. You know, I was able to, you know, fulfill that those expectations, just kind of just play the way I've always been playing. And it helped me out a lot. 2022 would be much of the same for Cruz as he would go on to win the SEC Player of the Year with a 349 batting average, a 463 on base percentage, 1.153 OPS, with 22 home runs and 72 RBIs, along with a 13.6% walk rate. Bring in two runs. Dylan Cruz never slowed down. Two home runs and two at bats for Dylan Cruz. In July of 2022, he would join the U.S. National Collegiate Team to travel the country playing different universities. Here he's playing LSU and of course he goes yard. Well, I guess that confirms it. It's not just the metal bat. That brings us back to current day where Cruz is just on fire to start the year and he's doing all this while being in the spotlight. He's been talked about as being the number one overall draft prospect since last year and MLB has him ranked as a 60 overall scouting grade with a 60 hit tool, a 60 power tool, 55 run, 55 arm, and 50 field. The LSU Tigers are now a third of the way through their schedule with the meat of their SEC schedule starting right now and be on the lookout for the weekend of March 30th through April 1st, as they'll be going against Tennessee, who as a part of their pitching rotation, has the number two ranked MLB draft prospect, Chase Dolander, and they'll be set to face off that weekend. He's gotten comparisons to Jacob deGrom with that fastball and slider combo, so make sure to check out his player profile after this video. And Dolander got the better of Cruz in their matchup last year. So now with the draft order set for the 2023 MLB draft, it really just comes down to if the Pirates go with pick 1A or 1B, hitter or pitcher. 
Let me know in the comments if you think the Pirates will take Dylan Cruz or Chase Dolander, or maybe someone else like Max Clark. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more baseball content throughout the season. All right, guys, goodbye, Zondi. Don't forget it. Yeah. <laughs>